Today we're trying out White Claw Hard Seltzer Pure. It's their newest uh, seltzer. Is this the last time we're going to be buying White Claw? Quite possibly. Hey there, njroot22.com here with another vlog about alcohol and booze and, and so on. Um, as if you've watched any of my videos, we uh, used to do a uh, cheap wine review because we liked our red wine and uh, the fact that it was fairly low carb and, and uh, we stopped that because wine, we've determined for our own body, is not good anymore. I didn't like what happened. Uh, so we, we, we got onto this new uh, little, uh, little tip here uh, for the uh, hard seltzers. And I've uh, gone through a whole bunch of different hard seltzers and I basically uh, settled on the fact that the Smirnoff Spiked Sparkling Seltzer uh, is the uh, king of the hill here. White Claw is the most popular, I believe. White Claw and I think Truly and there's... I never really enjoyed the flavor of their flavored ones. They were slightly higher in carbs per can than my Smirnoff. Smirnoff's a, a gram of carbs per can and the White Claw flavored ones were two grams of carbs per can. This uh, new flavorless uh, seltzer is zero carbs per can and that's the reason why I try it because zero carbs is pretty awesome. When you make your drink and I always just, this is very important to know. I never drink it straight. Never do I drink a can of seltzer straight. I always dilute it 50-50 with some other kind of seltzer, usually a flavored seltzer like a Polar or a Canada Dry, whatever, I don't know. I put a quarter teaspoon of ginger powder in it and a squirt of lemon. Notice I'm not giving the thumbs up. It's okay. I like zero carbs. Now let's just point out that the difference between a one gram of carbs per can, I drink on average less than six cans a night. Six cans is a big night, seven or eight, I'm, I'm, it's a bender for me. I can usually get away with like four, three or four cans, sometimes two cans a night. Anywhere between two and eight, okay? Let's just say for argument's sake, I'm drinking six cans. Six grams of carbs over four hours is really insignificant if I'm drinking compared to 12 grams of carbs over four hours. It, it really doesn't matter. If I'm pounding like 12 of them in an hour, maybe that's not gonna happen though. So I guess zero grams, one grams, two grams, I don't really care. But if you start getting to three, four, five, and six grams, then I, I, don't, I just don't want to put those carbs in my body. I can, I can tell the difference. I'm not a big fan of the White Claw other flavors, so I don't, I don't buy it anymore. You know, A, it's higher in carbs. B, I didn't really enjoy the flavor. It had this weird alcohol taste. It wasn't your usual, it wasn't like you were drinking a cheap vodka. It just had a weird, new alcohol taste and I, I just it didn't connect with me very well. White Claw people say here you can enjoy this straight or add your own flavor twist and I did taste the, the new uh, White Claw Pure just straight out of an ice cold can and I at first I'm like wait a minute this has no taste and then the second wave of sensation that came over me was whoa this tastes sort of like someone maybe rinsed a uh, toilet bowl cleaner off in my cup before I tasted it. it. Wasn't completely offensive, but it didn't taste right. The third, I guess the finish, if you're talking in wine speak, the finish had this, again, like weird alcohol taste. You don't get that from the Smirnoffs. I don't like the taste, and, and even with my mix uh, of black cherry seltzer and uh, ginger and lemon, I still don't really like it. It's, I don't give, you know, I don't do the thumbs up with it. It's, it's, I guess the missing flavor is, okay, I mean, I suppose if you mixed it with a really sugary drink or maybe a high erythritol drink, it might mask the issues, but I'm not a, I'm not a big fan. However, I'm not saying I don't like it and I'm not saying I will never ever not buy it. Um, there's two things that are that White Claw has uh, going for it. Um, a, it's available everywhere. So if you're at the 
uh, the liquor store five minutes before they close and this is the only thing they have I'll probably uh, pick it up it's a good emergency standby because B it um, the five percent alcohol is higher than most of the other seltzers and the buzz is it's a different kind of buzz I don't want to say angry buzz but it's not it's a, it's a different buzz at five percent so you you could probably drink a few, a few less of them uh, or just get a better buzz drinking the same amount. So it's it's not completely toxic, but I don't really enjoy it nearly as much as the Smirnoff. And there's really no cost advantage. I mean, this was 15 bucks for a 12 pack. Probably get it for uh, 14 if you buy a case, uh, two of them, like $28 for two of them. It's a shrug. It's, I guess, utilitarian. It serves a purpose, gives you a buzz, helps you sleep. But I'm, I'm not gonna buy this uh, voluntarily anymore. If I'm in the situation where I have no other choice, I, I'll take it. Or if I'm at a party, which I never go to, uh, any parties anymore, and they only have this, I'll, 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 I'll take it over a beer or, or wine. So that's it. I, I'm not a big fan of White Claw in general. Oh, there's one other thing that I need to point out here, and I'll put up the nutrition facts right here. Their ing uh, ingredients are listed as car purified carbonated water, alcohol, doesn't say how, it, it, it's made using their proprietary brew pure brewing process. And they say discover more at whiteclaw.com. You can't really discover much more than marketing and, and uh, their image uh, management. Uh, they have a video. They don't really explain. They don't get technical. It's not, it's not, there's nothing technical. They're not explaining. It's probably a patented top secret thing how they do this. Um, but you can't knock them for being zero carb. And then it says, uh, after alcohol, natural flavor. And that bugs the living crap out of me, and it should bug the living crap out of you. Natural flavor is a passport, a little, a little free pass for these companies to stick things in there at a you know 001 percent. But there could easily be MSG in these things to make them addictive and make you drink one more than you should have. Uh, so I, I don't know if the, the, the Smirnoff ones don't list the ingredients uh, on the can or the box. It doesn't say what's in them. So I don't know if uh, natural flavor is in there. But I don't, beware of the natural flavor uh, BS. It, it, we have to petition our, 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 the people that regulate this to, to you know, expose natural flavor. They can't just have like an easy one uh, size fits all for uh, like a million ingredients, including MSG. So, so I, I have to say, even though I don't like it, I keep drinking these things. So I, I'm never going to buy this again unless I'm, I'm like in a corner and want to have a drink. So I'll leave this video here. I, I prepped my next drink here. And we're going to enjoy the new favorite flavor for Smirnoff Spiked Sparkling Seltzer is Pina Colada. It's really, every time I drink this, I feel like I'm on vacation, okay? I feel like I'm, I'm at the poolside at some hotel in Waikiki, if, even though I've never been to Hawaii. My family says they want to go one day, so. I'm either at a hotel or I'm drinking some, like, Hawaiian tropic, uh, tanning fluid by mistake so much better the flavor is is important and if you uh, go look at one of my other videos uh, go click my the channel name and then look up uh, the the crook and marker the crook and marker seltzers and I'm probably gonna try them again because the flavor was profound the the play the flavor was was so profound that I could probably triple or quadruple dilute it and make one, this is a 32 ounce ball jar, and I do one 12 ounce can of this, uh, the seltzer with 12 ounces of non-alcoholic seltzer, ice, and so on. And it, it melts and everything. So I end up drinking a quart, 
for every of fluid, every can. And six, uh, you're talking a gallon and a half of fluid. But the Crooked Marker was so potently flavorful, I think I can get two quarts of drink out of a 12 ounce can. And it would take forever. I, I might not even get a buzz from it. But I'm gonna try one of their other flavors I haven't had because although I don't like how kind of artificial it tasted, there was something entertaining about the flavor. So this little pina colada flavor over at the Smirnoff, it, it's enjoyable. It, it kind of brings a little bit of emotion into it. And like how you're, you know how your body can get like deja vu, like if you have a taste. Oh, I remember I had that taste back in uh, Cape Cod or, or in San Francisco, wherever the hell you were. Flavors have that and that kind of connection. And this pure had zero flavor and like, like I said, toilet bowl uh, flavor, bizarre. I, I, by the way, when you uh, eat carnivore and you don't eat junk and you're not eating fast food or restaurant food, your, your taste buds become extremely sensitive. Not sensitive in a bad way, but very aware. And you can pick up on subtleties and, and not, I, don't like, I don't like the white claw anymore, so that's it. Smirnoff. Smirnoff spiked sparkling seltzer all the way. Uh, I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying the other seltzers until I just get bored and stop doing it. I, I enjoy uh, being a little uh, human lab rat for this type of stuff. No more white claw for me unless my back is against the wall. Have a nice week ahead and I'll see you on the next njroot22.com vlog. Oh, by the way, if you made it this long, can you uh, click the subscribe button and the bell and all that other crap? Take it easy.